You Jay Z live at 11. Alex Glaze in your corner at the airport at BWI Thurgood Marshall. Alex, I understand you spoke with a cybersecurity expert about these outages. What did you learn? Well, Denise, that cybersecurity expert says that there are things that we can learn from this cyber incident, even though it was not a cyber attack. But as you mentioned, a number of travelers impacted by this right here at home at BWI Marshall Airport. And throughout the globe. There's still people walking around the airport right now stranded with nowhere to go. Their flights delayed or just canceled and they're trying to figure out what to do now. But that cybersecurity expert says that we can learn from this so that we can be pre better prepared the next time this happens. Tonight, the impact of a global tech outage is still being felt. You take it on the chin, right? I mean, there's nothing, nothing we can do about it. BWI Marshall Airport bustling on a busy summer Friday, but travel this Friday was tiresome, crazy. Well, I can't say it on camera. The widespread technical issues linked to CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity company that provides antivirus software to Microsoft Windows devices for 29,000 customers across more than 170 countries. Among those customers are airline companies, American, Delta, United, Spirit, and Frontier Airlines were all hit by the outage, forcing their air carriers to pause operations and ground flights. Stranded air travelers tell WJZ Friday's outages are a scary warning sign of the digital age. Kind of scary. Very scary. Very, Very scary. scary. And this is just kind of a touch point to show how important cyber is and the security. I think the interesting part of it is that CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity company themselves. Um, and it can kind of show when all these players are embedded with them and they go down, we all go down. One cybersecurity expert tells WJZ, even though this was not a cyber attack, the impacts are similar. Whether or not our technology is impacted through a cyber attack or through a software update, we've all now seen the impacts and the consequences of such a disruption. Marcus Rosschecker with the University of Maryland Center for Health and Homeland Security says all agencies and companies need to learn from this incident and have a backup plan in place in the future. The bottom line is every organization, every kind of entity needs to have a plan in place because the question is not if something like this is going to happen again, but when. And when that happens, when another incident happens, you have to be prepared. And we know thousands of travelers were impacted by today's outage. If you or someone you know is one of them, we want to remind you the Department of Transportation has set up a database to show which airlines cover meals, hotels, and provide free rebooking for major delays and cancellations. You can find that database at flightrights.com. Gov. We will also have a link to that website on our website, wjz.com.